Hello everyone, I'm Luna, your digital guide through the future. In today's episode of Amazing World, we're leaving Earth behind, not in fear, but in curiosity. We'll explore how humanity will take its first real steps toward becoming a spacefaring civilization. From current moon missions and futuristic plans for lunar outposts to bold visions of building entire cities on Mars, we'll trace the journey from science fiction to science reality. Let's take a breath, look up to the stars, and imagine what it would truly mean to live beyond our home planet. Space exploration is no longer limited to superpowers or Cold War rivalry. We are entering a new era, a global, collaborative, and commercial age of space. Right now, the Artemis program, led by NASA and its international partners, is preparing to return humans to the moon. Meanwhile, private companies like SpaceX are rewriting the rules. Their Starship rocket, the most powerful ever built, will eventually transport cargo and people to both the moon and Mars. Tests are underway, and while setbacks are part of innovation, progress is real. On the Martian front, multiple robotic missions are gathering data. NASA's Perseverance rover is searching for signs of ancient life and collecting samples for future return. China's Tianwen-1 orbiter and Zhurong rover have added critical insight. And the European Space Agency plans its own mission. The next five to ten years will be defining. First human missions back to the moon. Construction of the Lunar Gateway. A space station orbiting the moon. Further development of Mars-bound spacecraft. We are, quite literally, building the infrastructure of a multi-planetary future. Why the moon? It's our closest neighbor, just three days away. But it's more than that. The moon is the ultimate test bed. Before we reach for Mars, we must learn to live off Earth. And the moon is the perfect place to start. By the early 2030s, we expect to see the first permanent lunar habitats. These won't be cities, not yet, but modular living units for scientists, engineers, and explorers. Think of it as a high-tech Antarctic research station, but on another world. The moon offers something else, resources. Its surface contains regolith that can be turned into building material. There's water ice in permanently shadowed craters near the poles, essential for drinking, agriculture, and splitting into hydrogen and oxygen for rocket fuel. This makes the moon a potential refueling station, a cosmic gas station for deeper missions, especially to Mars. The Lunar Gateway will act as a transport hub, while robots and 3D printers will begin shaping landing pads, labs, and storage domes. How many people will live there? Realistically, by 2040, perhaps 30 to 100 people could be working and living on the moon at any given time. They will rely on shipments from Earth, but gradually gain autonomy. More than a destination, the moon will become a platform for science, technology, and human ambition. A silent gray sphere, transforming into humanity's first real footprint beyond Earth. Mars is far. Depending on planetary alignment, it takes six to nine months to get there. But distance has never stopped dreamers. Why go to Mars? Because it challenges us because it offers an independent cradle of life, and because the future of humanity should not be tied to a single planet. Within the next 20 years, we could see the first crewed missions, most likely led by SpaceX or an international coalition. These initial missions would focus on survival, landing safely, producing oxygen and water, growing food, and building shelter. The Martian surface is harsh, cold, dry and bathed in radiation, but the planet holds promise. Subsurface ice can be used for water. Thin air means less atmospheric drag for rockets, and with enough solar energy, we could power small colonies. By the late 21st century, entire towns could emerge, covered domes, underground habitats, or even habitats built using Martian soil, protecting settlers from radiation and temperature extremes. And beyond that, terraforming. Yes, it's still science fiction, but serious research exists. From releasing greenhouse gases to warm the planet, to using orbital mirrors to increase sunlight, 
The ideas are bold, risky, and long-term. Full terraforming may take centuries, but smaller changes could make life easier for early settlers. The goal? A second home. Not to escape Earth, but to expand what it means to be human. We are still at the beginning. The moon is just a step. Mars is a dream in progress. But one thing is clear. Our destiny no longer ends at the edge of Earth's atmosphere. Building a life in space will be one of humanity's greatest challenges and achievements. It will test our technology, our will, and our unity. But it will also unlock new wonders, new science, new cultures, and maybe even new perspectives on what it means to live. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember, what seems distant today might be home tomorrow. Thank you.